case of Ryan Stuka's disappearance has been on my mind for nearly five years. I have been hesitant to make a video on the subject because I did not think I could do justice to him or his family, who have searched tirelessly for Ryan. However, I want to talk a little about the last known hours he was with people. Ryan was last seen leaving a residence on Burfield Drive around 2 a.m. on Saturday, February 17, 2018, to walk the short distance home. He did not show up for work the next day and has not been active on social media or cellular networks since then. His clothing, cell phone and cap and car keys have never been recovered. What I've gathered from the stories is that it's unclear whether or not Ryan actually left the house. All the accounts mention seeing him put on his coat, putting his shoes on, and talking to people at the door, but there's no definite conclusion. Ryan was getting ready to leave the house on Burfield at around 2 a.m. with some friends who thought he was following behind them. By the time they turned around and noticed he wasn't there, they assumed he had either fallen behind or chosen to stay at the party. So, my first question is, what type of party was it? Just people drinking and maybe taking drugs. Was there loud music and dancing? What were the conversations Ryan was having with people there? Who did he interact with? There is very little information and answers regarding these questions. Where was Ryan sitting at the party? Was he on the couch with his friends and partygoers? Was it standing room only? How many attended this party? From reports, he had taken his boots off and hung his coat near the door. Was there a conversation about leaving the party between Ryan and his friends? Did anyone talk about how bad the weather was outside? So how was Ryan physically? Many reports he had been drinking and fact there were drugs circulating. Was he staggering and unstable? Did this affect his ability to find his way home? Was his conversations at the party coherent? There must have been friends who could clarify this. I am overwhelmed with the potentialities that could have occurred at the party, specifically involving Ryan. Others say they saw Ryan put on his jacket and boots to leave, but no one saw him actually go out the door. Wouldn't there have been some form of communication, such as by Ryan or from Ryan. Great party, I'm out of here. For no one to at least see Ryan open the door and step outside, I find this hard to believe. I have another thought, did someone pick Ryan up from the party and he left in their car? No one saw him leave, so what actually happened when he left? He was young, maybe he was meeting up with a few girls. I'm sure being the age he was, there wasn't anything too serious going on. Is there any information on who Ryan interacted with in the days leading up to his disappearance? I haven't read anything about cell phone records apart from calls from his parents. His parents and supporters have done an excellent search effort, and at this stage, Ryan or any of his clothing has not been found, which is surprising given the extensive search. There was speculation he was heading to town to find something to eat, which is common after consuming alcohol. There have been countless podcasts featuring Ryan's disappearance, but really not much on the party itself and what happened there. Please leave a comment if you can answer any of my questions. I really just want to focus on the hours leading to Ryan supposedly leaving the party. I hope this video creates more interest in the search for Ryan. And God bless the Stuka family, and they have the closure that they deserve.